Hi there. Five top tips to help keep your pricing up. And a bonus tip at the end, if you'll stay with me right to the end, I'll give you a bonus tip. So that's six ways to keep your pricing up as a small business. Stick around. Hi there, my name is Ian Dixon and for the last 19 odd years I've been helping business owners just like you to become healthier, wealthier and happier. And a question that's been coming up, especially this time of the year, depending on when you're watching this video, um, especially this time of the year, people come to me challenged by being in a price war. So, so what I thought I'd do is just maybe five, 10 minutes, put a video together that uh, where I can share with you five ways in which you can keep your pricing up, but also a bonus tip right at the end, stick around to the end tip because it's a killer a great way to ensure that you can charge the right price for your product or service. Right, so I know you just want me to get into it, so we'll go straight in and let's talk about pricing. So um, yeah, it, especially in the world we live in today, constant challenge, right? So how to keep your prices up is five great ways in which you could perhaps, um, even if you just pick one of these, it'll help keep your prices where they need to be. Don't get, Once you start reducing your prices, it's so hard to get them back up where they need to be again. It's a terrible kind of trap to fall into. Right, so like I say, I'm not gonna spend any time on me. You can go and Google me, you'll find me. My name is Ian Dixon. I travel around the world um, uh, and actually at the time of recording this video, I'm literally a week away from going to Africa to do some work. Um, I travel around the world helping businesses to become more successful and uh, yeah, so and one of those challenges of course is pricing. Number one, um, and I have used this to so much success with small business owners, um, I can't begin to tell you. Uh, one that stands out to me is a, a small um, company where a lady bought an existing business, didn't like the brand. Uh, she was a much higher end uh, product as, a, as, a, as an individual. And over the course of two to three years, did a rebrand and repositioned herself in the marketplace so that she could attract uh, customers um, that would pay a higher premium, higher price for products and services. Great example in front of you right now is tap water is free and a tin of Evian water is 75p. It's in the UK. So that is still, which is nearly a pound. This is still water. But when you position that brand, the, the story that I sometimes share is the humble banana, right? So you could go to a uh, an Aldi or a little store here in the UK and maybe pay 30 pence for a banana. And the same banana could have come from, uh, or the same uh, batch of bananas could have arrived in the UK um, uh, on the same boat and is sold by a Waitrose or a Marks and Spencer's store. And you might pay 60 or 70p for that banana. So, so positioning your brand or repositioning your brand is a great way to ensure that you are um, uh, keeping your price point where you need it to be. Number two, uh, and this one line has been translated into multiple uh, languages. It works around the world. I have had so much success with this one. We've used it in a marketing message. We've used it in our sales script. Sales script is a great place to use it. But uh, when it comes to uh, giving the price, this question helps you load value. This is the, the, the question, just so I can help you best, would you mind if I asked you a couple of questions? So, uh, scenario, car tires, you sell car tires, random. You sell car tires and I need a new tire. So I ring three garages and I wanna know two things. Have you got it in stock? and how much is it, right? So, so I ring two garages, they say it's 65 pounds, yes, it's in stock. Next one, it's 63 pounds, yes, it's in stock. Then I ring your garage and you say to me, just so I can help you best, would you mind if I asked you a couple of questions? And now you start to load value. So did you, are you within a five mile radius of our garage? Because if you are, we offer a collection and delivery service. Um, are you happy to wait? Um, uh, did you want to come in and wait? Because we have just refurbished our waiting area. 
Um, is this the first time you've used us, sir? Because we offer a discount to existing customers. So, so asking questions allows you in to give value rather than just straight out. It's in stock and it's 68 quid, 68 pounds. So asking this question before you tell them how much it is gives you an opportunity to start to load value so that if it if if it is more money, you're not comparing apples with apples. Yes, it's a tire and it's the same tire, but the customer experience and the value add demonstrates why it's a bit more money. Number three. I want to. I really want to trounce through these uh, so that we're not too long on time. We're five minutes in already. So, um, I have been uh, kind of slating and um, dissing the whole USP thing for maybe fifteen years now. So, um, it's a very old, very old marketing uh, strategy that, for me, within about four or five years of doing this job, I kind of binned it and got rid of it. And for me. It's far more important to demonstrate what I'm about to share with you than it is to find ways to be unique. And I would argue on the contrary, being unique nowadays isn't necessarily what us consumers are looking for. Um, the more important thing that I would encourage you to work out is this. What is it that makes your business remarkable and the definition of remarkable worthy of being or likely to be noticed especially as being uncommon or extraordinary for me if you deliver a remarkable service people will talk positively about you and they become your marketing machine and of course this is about value add again. If you are delivering a remarkable product or service that stands out, people are happy to pay a premium. People will remember the quality of service that you provide long after the price that they paid. So making sure that you are striving to deliver a remarkable product or service is basically where you want to go. And that should be your USP. What makes my business remarkable? Number four, nearly done. Um, position yourself as an expert. There is no hack or shortcut to being identified as an expert. It takes anywhere between five to seven years to be identifies, identified or stand out as an expert. But there are some things that you can do that will help identify you as an expert once you get there so things like this testimonials accreditation certification affiliation book writing videos writing blogs getting on stage and presenting your uh, content pos helps position you and identify you as an expert if you're identified as an expert, of course, you can charge a premium. So identifying yourself and positioning yourself as an expert in your chosen field or niche will help you keep your prices up. Last but not least, because I'm going to get I've told you for, as a big thank you for staying to the end. Look, here's the thing. YouTube loves people to stay on the video. Uh, also, YouTube loves a follow, a like, and a subscribe. It massively helps me and will encourage me to do more videos like this. So please do hit the like, subscribe buttons. Um, it helps me and it helps YouTube. So, and of course, stand to the end is also um, a big bonus too. So anyway, number five, cheap. Skimping on your outbound message will give you a skimpy return so if you want like low grade low value low priced uh, you know people kind of trying to biff you on price then often that's reflected in the quality of what it is that you're putting out what does that look like it could be the quality of the paper uh, the quality of the print the quality of the images that are used you know if you're a window cleaner 
and you have a low value product, put in a uh, photocopied or black and white 80 gram piece of paper through a letterbox is just fine. If you're somebody that sells a £6,000 conservatory, putting that through a letterbox isn't fine. Everything that is outbound should reflect its potential return. So making sure that if you want to start rising up and the, the success that we had with this lady that completely rebranded and moved her average order value from about 380 quid to 1500 quid was all around things like this. The outbound message, the imagery, the uh, rebrand, everything reeked quality and of course with quality comes price big one this one because we tend to start to want to save money when we're in this uh, pricing war and of course we're working against ourselves well, i promised you one more um thank you for staying to the end this one i've been dining out on for years and years and years and i still don't see it in people's marketing unless i push them home and i've got one or two that have used it i can think of one right now um up in the midlands somewhere where they came to see me speak and they went home and introduced uh, this into their marketing message and, and as, a, as a product actually and i know that they had a great deal of success with it there is something that money loves that absolutely we will spend more on if we can have speed so whether that be speed of delivery uh, speed of answering the phone the fact that it's in stock the fact that it's dealt with um, it, any way that you could you might offer a primary delivery service that is over and above a first class service same day delivery you know we live in a world now where at the big players are doing you know I, i've seen uh, advertising on television recently um as 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 quick as 20 minutes so it's like crazy crazy so and as consumers you know we'll spend more money if we can have it now or if it's been dealt with now there you go um i've got just gonna give you these as we go down package things together have a signature product or service be remarkable don't be different we don't necessarily want different do we we like you know look at all the cars on the road they're same color same shape so be remarkable find ways to position yourself as an expert accreditation testimonials um uh, uh connections with different you know presentations book writing video production there's lots of ways you can do it repositioning your brand don't be an Aldi or a little unless that's your marketplace get yourself up in, you know if you want to sell bananas why would you want to sell bananas to littles and Aldi customers get yourself up into the waitrose market have a speedy product and you have to believe you can do it because your belief determines your behavior behavior gives you the outcome um, the lady that went from 380 quid up to 1500 quid I had to kind of do a sneaky, um, I, I think if we'd have told her on day one, we're gonna like quadruple your average order value. She would never have believed it wouldn't have set out on that journey. So we do it slowly, you know, we like, let's just edge it up. Let's get it to 500 quid. Let's get it to 700 quid. Let's get it to a thousand. And we slowly edged up her average order value and started attracting, attracting clients that would pay more money. There you go. That's me. Um, there's all sorts of, um, ways in which i can help you i'm not going into a sales pitch we're kind of done but please do hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to find out more head over to the website the link will be in the comments below thank you for watching please do um like and subscribe as i say it would be great to connect with you um let's come back to me thanks for tuning in hope you found that useful five plus a bonus ways in which you can keep your pricing up gonna say bye for now.